Now let's do some micro suturing. Here we are under the microscope and notice that the cut in the glove latex runs from away from me on the left to towards me on the right. This is the easiest position to start suturing since it's the most natural one and this is the position the glove cut should be in when you begin suturing. Now the first step is picking up the needle. Now for the experienced microsurgeon, the needle can be grasped rather easily with one hand. However, when you're first starting, it's a very frustrating chore to pick up the needle. In order to simplify this, as we discussed before, it's helpful to stabilize it with the end of the suture, and then the needle can be grasped about two-thirds of the way from the end. Now you don't want the needle to be too close to the tip of the jaws because it might easily jump out. So we do want it a little bit back from the edge. Now let's go to suturing. We're going to zoom in to show the end of the latex glove here. And we want the sutures to be equally spaced from one another. The first step is to place the left hand forceps, which in this case is a number two jeweler's forceps, underneath the edge of the latex. Spread the tips a little bit and then Coming back from the edge, about one, two, about three needle diameters, we pass the needle, and this everts the skin edge quite nicely. Now we come straight across. We don't come obliquely across. We come straight across, and we use the forceps in order to stabilize the other side, and we pass the needle in this fashion. Notice that this side may be a little wider than this side. You should try to make the two sides about equal distance from the edge in terms of the bite. Now let's zoom out and we will look at how we retrieve the needle here. We grasp it from the edge. Don't grab the very tip of it or you can damage the fine point on the micro needle. We grab it and we gently supinate or turn our hand palm up as we rotate it and use the curve of the needle so that we don't tear the tissue. Now when we're pulling it out, we just pull it straight out and let the needle fall. Now notice that we don't have too much suture material protruding. You don't want to leave a big tail because then it would be difficult to tie. When you tie, it's going to get caught in the loop like this. We only want a little bit of tail protruding. And because I'm using the curved jeweler's forceps, we're going to use the left hand to grasp the suture material to make the loop. So we grasp it over here. We make the loop. Now notice I grasped with my hand palm down so that the suture comes this way. If I turn my hand the other way and grasp with it palm up, it is usually more difficult to make the loop. So we always grab it with the hand palm down. We make the loop, grab the end of the suture, pass it through, and in this case, it lay down quite nicely. If there's a tendency for the edges to spring apart like this, well then we can do one of two things. Either we can make a surgeon's knot on the first one and grab that and lay it down that way and that will snug it down quite nicely. Or there's another technique that we'll show in a minute that can be used in order to lay the knot down and keep it from separating the wound edges. Now let's go over some of the details of actually grasping the suture end here. Okay, when we make the loop, we don't want to have the right hand instrument all the way over here and then pass it over to here. There's a lot that can go wrong in the process, such as the loop falling off the end of the instrument. What we'd like to do instead is first have the instrument pointing right towards the end of the suture. Then we make the loop and all we have to do is open the forceps and grasp it. And there we are. Same thing when we grasp it on the second throw. Again, have it pointing down and we grasp it, pass it through. And finally, on the third throw, we grasp it and pass it through. Usually three throws should be sufficient. If necessary, occasionally a fourth throw is required. What we then do is we cut the end of the suture and we discard the loose end here away from our field so that it doesn't get in our way.